darkness, light, the status quo, evil, corruption, malice, inconsistency, the law. The law is not justice, just it being the law does not one there are not in interconnected with each other. The law is just the matrix of the status quo. This the Okido, the boogie man of the elitist, the business horse, the phonies that call our that we call our presidents, our kings, our queens, our bureaucrats. The law is not but a foolish idea. Rich elitist people not can make just laws because if you elect people that are rich, only rich people their interests will be protected because that's how humans are. In the first place, in the majority, they choose always their own interests. So I say, that's my personal opinion and belief that we not will come out of the problems as long as we allow rich people to become presidents. And nobody, in my opinion, with an essence higher than 20,000 euros or dollars have to be uh, the priv to get the privilege to get elected president and businesses have to go out with their filthy little tentacles out of uh, politics and we just have to stop with electing people who are in essence puppets of businesses because they want to protect their interests and it's of their people that are going bad with the businesses where they're lobbying with the people they're coming last place in this system that's most of Europe and America is uh, constructed, called capitalism. Capitalism is the astounding belief that the most wickedest of men do the most wickedest of things for the greatest good of anybody. It is a foolish, stupid idea. Because it is not how the majority works. Being in the majority is not also is also not one guarantee of on, standing on the right side of justice. You must know slavery was once legal, justifiable segregation. was also normal sexual discrimination also normal one time illegal according to the human law the slave master law the carnist law the sexist law laws are not justice Laws are just weapons of the status quo. It is a symbol of power. And symbol of might and maker. As long as humans not learn to look things from the victim's point of view, we will always have wars, hatred, discrimination, murder, rape, kidnapping, child abuse. Animal cruelty. 
animal exploitation, destruction of rainforest and national habitats. The first form of discrimination has to be abolished. The first form of discrimination is speciesism. It is the way we act to that extreme arrogance, that self-righteousness, that we have the right to deserve how have to live and how deserve to die. That elitist prick behavior of us, humanity, that dogs have to be protected, but pigs and cows have to be executed for no other reason than a burger, a piece of flesh, and that dismembered corpse on one bur on one on two slices of bread. When addiction of greed and murder, self righteousness, malice. And hatred. Because humans don't need animal products to survive. No animal secretions. No hen periods, also known as eggs. No dismembered corpses that we you so euphemistically prefer as a flesh for meat. As um, Matthew Scully, the writer of Dominion, once have said, How can you ask for something that you are not willing to give? Maybe. If you are treated like nothing, like your life don't matter at all. Maybe you will see how you to be treated like an object, like your life, the matter at all, like you being tortured, commercialized, and enslaved. Maybe then you will feel and see what we right and what we wrong, and open your eyes, eliminate that blinders. Because peace begins on the dinner table, not by what you talk about and praise about, saying I love the world, I want to have peace, but not even understand what that means. As Dexter Scott King also have recognized, if you are truly a pacifist, you must be a vegan. If you truly give about justice, equality, and morality, you must be vegan. Or must become a vegan. Because a veganism is not some choice. You don't deserve to have the choice to exploit, murder, and commercialize to another living being. That's the imperative of injustice, immorality, and self-righteousness. Calling vegans self-righteous how stand up for their lives of innocent living beings, the animals, is one extremely arrogant self-righteous thing. Have you the audacity? How have you the audacity? Have you the courage? To look yourself in the eyes and admit if you are wrong. So as I have said before, being in the majority is no guarantee of being on the right side of what being right. All true have to pass to three stages. First, it is mocked and ridiculed because people always see us historically wise, to mock anybody who stands up for the victims, make fun of them, say that's a stupid idea, 
Have you ever done it for sanctuaries? Just with slavery, with sexism, with uh, child abuse, with discrimination. Sadie, burning the widows of deceased husbands. Second, it is violently opposed. People see there that it's not right, but they do anything to hold the status quo, just like it be. Because people are not so willing to change their disgusting behavior. It have taken 400 years for black people to get their rights in many of the Western world. And another 50 to 100 years for women to get their rights. That is accepted as self and rules. Nobody make excuses for it anymore because anybody understands it. There's no need to explain it anymore because it is accepted. And the common regulations to stop the injustice. But sadly, most of the cases they will not fall over time, if you look historically. As long as man will destroy and spill the blood of innocent living beings, they will not find health or peace. Indeed, I'll say the states of, states of hatred, oppression and murder will not find joy or love. I have from an early age abstained from the, from the flesh of the innocents. And it will come one day that a man like me will watch over the despicable traditions of today with the same kind of despise as the vegans of today. If you are not the figure, don't imagine it in time. From your point of view, because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victim, pull this stuff away, say that is not important, say that it is stupid to care about them. Just like people have always so much done with others of their species. But what we looked is situations from the position of the victim. There's no excuse anymore for what we do to them. And we see the mistakes of our past make no longer excuses for it. Make a plea and move forward. Try to from this moment live truthfully, honestly, compassionately without double standards and go vegan. What's the excuse for not costing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? Always being vegan. Check out also my other videos. I have more than 400 this month this time. At least um, 350. So, that's the problem. Ooh. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. If you are not a victim, don't blinder yourself. The victim
victim is nothing to the defender. Defenders don't care about any other victim. The victims are interchangeable between blacks, women, children, gays, animals. And that some animals seem to discriminate between each other. Like uh, lions do with zebras. Would make that anything good. Humans claim always that they are so superior. If you are superior, then you don't do the cruelty. Then you are. Stop the cruelty or try to stop it. You can do it several times a day. Simple by changing your eating habits. You can help to prevent world hunger. Because you can feed in one acre, acre of land around something like um, 20 vegans and only one meat eater. Um, sorry, only one, um, one meat eater. You can do it for the environment because the environment suffered the most and will repeat the most because of animal agriculture worldwide. According to the statistics of the World Watch Institute, something like um, 30, um, um, 20, 32, um, and 6 megatons of carbon dioxide is produced by animal agriculture. That's something I like. 50% of all the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Around the health of the world's land is used for animal husbandry or slavery. Something like 50% for raising food for livestock. For living slaves. I refuse to not speak the truth. I refuse to call it solely livestock because a stock is one inanimate object and animals are not inanimate objects. There are living sentient creatures, our families, how wants to be with their loved ones and not be ripped away and turned in property by one extremely arrogant naked ape. I know, so you like not that I called you extremely arrogant. It's, it's not something that interests me because my clients are not humans. My clients are the animals and the earth. Just like the clients of sea shepherds are the whales, the dolphins, and not the Japanese whaling fleet. How I called? Terrorists. Just like I called the complete animal agriculture industry terrorists. Because they are being responsible for mass deforestation and for world hunger, for destruction of ocean habitats, something like um, 500,000 hypopic zones are created around the world. There are some zones in the sea where not longer life possible is because of extreme acidification. Veganism is an immoral imperative. It is a moral imperative. 
It is not about me or you. It is about innocent living beings. How I've done you nothing ever in your whole life. The least is what you can do is return the favor.